In this video, I will be showing you shadow wrap short rows. Shadow wrap short rows, also uh, sometimes called mother-daughter short rows or twin stitch short rows, are another short row method. I really like these. This is how they look in stockinette. And this is how they look in garter. Not the best option for garter, but they look great in uh, stockinette. And I like using them in sock heels. So to work a shadow wrap short row, on the right side, you will knit to your short row location. And then we're going to be mimicking a wrap, but we'll do that by making our a, a shadow stitch. It's called the shadow stitch. So say this is my short row lo location. I then knit into the next stitch. So we're looking at this next stitch. I'm knitting into the stitch below this first stitch on the left hand needle. So to do that, I take the right leg of that stitch below and I lift it up onto the left needle and I use my finger to keep these separate. I don't want to do anything with this stitch. This is the stitch I want to work. And I then knit into it. And drop. Now I now have two stitches coming out of this stitch. I will slip this stitch that I just made back to the left hand needle and you can see two stitches. So there's our shadow wrap. So essentially I've wrapped, a, it's almost the same as wrapping this stitch for wrap and turn short rows, but I instead I've made a stitch out of this stitch. So I've made another stitch. I haven't worked it, this stitch. I've just worked into the stitch below to mimic making a wrap. You then turn and work across the row by purling. So on the wrong side, the steps are a little bit different. Again, we'll work to our short row location and we will be looking at the, so we'll say that that's, that's where I want to have my short row end. We're still looking at this stitch, but I'm wanting to purl into it, into the stitch below this stitch. It's, it's, you can't do that the way it's presented right here. So first you have to slip that stitch over to the right hand needle so that I can lift this leg of that stitch and then purl that leg. And now I have two stitches coming out of this stitch. I don't want to work these, so I'm going to slip them back to the left hand needle. So they haven't been worked. This the stitch on the needle has not been worked. It was the stitch below the stitch on the needle that got a stitch added to it. But I'm not adding any height in rows. So now I turn and I will show you those again. And now I want to make a shadow wrap, a knit shadow wrap in the stitch below. So I will lift that leg, keeping it separate from the stitch that was originally on the needle. And I'm knitting into that and drop it. That was the original stitch. This is its twin. So I slip it back. 
and then I turn and just purl. So I need to get a shadow stitch in this, but it's a purl, so I'm going to slip first so that I can lift that leg and purl into it. And now my shadow stitches are on the right hand needle. I need to slip them to the left hand needle because I don't want to work them. And then turn and we will knit. Now, I want a couple of reasons I like these. They, they are fairly obvious in thicker yarn, at least, where they are. Right there and right there. And the other reason I like them is they are really easy to resolve. All you do is work those two stitches as if they were one. Just like that. Now these are not the most invisible short row um, method. This isn't the most invisible short row method out there because if you look closely, you can see the extra strand from your two stitches that were worked together. But usually in sock heels, where I um, typically use these, this method, um, I don't so much care that, that that is the case. Now to work the shadow wraps to resolve them on the wrong side of the work, it is the same idea. So again, they are right there and right there. And I am just going to purl those two strands together as one. Like so. So those are shadow wrap short rows. Thanks for watching. <laughs>